So tell us who you are and what you've built. Uh, I'm Masahiro. I, bought, I built a uh, Booker uh, s- like a uh, low pass gate. Low, low pass Saranki. Yeah. Low pass filter. Mhm. And what changes did you make? Uh, actually, I don't make it. I don't make any change yet. We, we, I mean, we. Well, one thing is there's a. This is just, we set this up so this is just the actual filter version. Yeah. It's not the complicated. But the original used Vactrals, right? Yeah. And what did you use in yours? Uh, we use, I use uh, like a uh, photocopra. Aha, the yeah, H11. So these are actually a transistor, they're like photofets. Yeah. And so you needed to make some changes, I think, to the control circuitry. For, for that to work. So we, well, actually to the filter itself, right? Yeah. Because the filters... Actually, these registers are getting smaller values. So right, about 10 times smaller yeah. from an optocoupler than so from a backhaul. To CS, uh, CF, uh, sorry. Yeah, okay, so you, yeah. you change the react. Yeah, Res- to this make be appropriate. 10 times. Okay, so let's listen. I'm going to just change the uh, cutoff offset knob. So there's a sawtooth going through. And here's a, a square wave going through. So ignore those bumps. There's a it's a tight breadboard, and I think I'm I think I'm uh, adjusting where next to one of the jacks is. And of course, we as always go over to our MOTM and we plug in. Uh, let's see, that was plug in a control current. So this is with it almost most of the way up anyway. We're having a little bit of jack issues. Huh, it seems to be thumping at one end. That's strange. Wasn't doing that before. But anyway, here you're, uh, we're adjusting um, the... Uh, so now there's a sawtooth, so if you would hold that and point that at the scope, I'm going to increase the rate here. <laughs> okay. Square wave, same way. <laughs> okay. 